problem here, guy? Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, we are doing a Scream 6 review. Yes, I already know I did one before, but the other one got taken down for whatever reason. Um, YouTube never really told me why they took it down. They just sent me an email, and they were like, Hey, we took it down due to whatever. They didn't really say. But anyways, we're going to get into this Scream 6 review. Let me just say... This movie was phenomenal, okay? It takes place a year after Scream 5 did, so a year after the 2022 Woodsboro tra 22 killing, Woodsboro killing. I'm sorry, I just can't talk today. But anyways, it follows off of the four, five survivors that survived in the last one, which would be Sam Carpenter, played by Melissa Barrera. Terry Carpenter, played by Jen Ortega. Chad Meeks, played by Mason Go And um, Mindy Meeks, played by Jasmine Savoy Brown. And Gail Weathers also returns, played by Courtney Cox. She returns in this one. She is the only female kid in the Scream franchise that goes for six back-to-back -back movies in return. She has not left a single movie. But anyways, let's get into today's review. This movie was phenomenal. Everybody did phenomenal. Melissa, Jenna, um, Mason, Jasmine, Courtney. Everybody in this movie did phenomenal in this movie, okay? We also have one character that returns that was from an old movie, which was Kirby Reed from Scream 4. I literally thought she died, but apparently she survived, and she's in Scream 6 now. And so now, these, the four survivors from the last one, the core four is the new nickname, because that's, if you guys have seen the movie, you already know. I was one of the lucky ones to go see it in theaters. My mom took me to go see it, so I seen it with my mom. Um, but, yeah, now it's based off of these four people. The, based off of Sam, Tara, Chad, and Mindy getting out of Woodsboro and moving to New York. Um, they're in college now. And a new person has the ghost face mask on and is now causing it all, doing it all over again. And now, so they're trying to find out who has done it. And let me just say, this movie, I know I've said this before, but it's amazing. But yeah, they're trying to find out who does it and why they're doing it. And so they are trying, by the way, I don't know if I've said this, but they're in New York. They are trying to find clues and stuff like that. And let me just say they they the I'm not gonna say much because it's gonna I don't wanna spoil the movie for you guys. But they they find we find out something that at the end of the movie we find out something that is very unexpected. <laughs> um and this is also one of the first Scream movies that Gail actually talks to Ghostface on the phone with. That, that's amazing. Mwah. Oh my god, I, I like that. Um, she would, she would have talked to Ghostface on the phone in Scream 2 if Randy never picked up her phone. But, yeah, anyways. So, one of my favorite scenes in this movie was they did a lot of scene and oh my god if you guys haven't seen the movie you guys have to watch it um it is it's not in theaters anymore but it is on paramount plus if you guys do want to watch it and if you guys went the one of the lucky ones to see it in theaters it is on paramount plus but anyways this one was amazing okay i really like this one it turned out really 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 good so it was definitely better than five i th in my opinion 
but that is just my opinion. Other people can have their opinions. But anyways, let me just say, Jenna Ortega did amazing in this movie, okay? And it is kind of disappointing that Sydney wasn't in this one, but who knows, hopefully maybe she can be in the the next one, Scream 7. And, um, yeah, for some reason, this movie just hit different, okay? This one has to be on my top two ranking list, because it'd go Scream 1, and then Scream 6, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 2. Um, yes, Scream 2 is on the bottom of my list. I know people are going to complain about <laughs> Anyways, and this movie was phenomenal, okay? Every b we also have some new characters. Um, Detective Bailey, Quinn, Ethan, Danny. We, we have a lot of new characters, return not returning, but coming in to the franchise. Um... So, yeah, if you guys haven't seen the movie, I highly, 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 highly recommend watching the movie because it is amazing, and I don't know what you guys are doing if you guys are not watching the movie. Um, but anyways, this is going to be the end of my Scream 6 review. If you guys do tend to watch it, um, let me know how what you guys think of the movie, and until next time, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay geeky, my friends. And until the next one, peace out.